Stop it. Get some help. Bronco Raptor owners. We're headed over to Lethal Performance Headquarters to install a new mod. One of the first mods we're going to be installing on our truck is the UPR blow-off valve spacer. Now this is intended to give you that blow-off sound since the factory blow-off valve is recirculating and recirculates the air back into your intake track. This is just a simple spacer that goes in between your factory valve and the charge pipe is going to give you that blow-off valve sound. So let's go install the adapter and let you hear how it sounds. So here we are with the Lethal Performance Bronco Raptor. We're about to install the UPR blow-off valve adapter. This piece is really simple. It's just a billet machine piece, got a couple O-rings in it. They supply three stainless bolts and it installs within minutes. So come over here, take a look at this. This is your factory blow-off valve on your Bronco Raptor. Nothing special. What this does, it recirculates the air back through the intake track and uh, you don't get that psh sound. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in the truck, start it up, give it a couple revs, let you guys hear it because there is no psh sound. And then we're gonna go ahead and install the UPR blow-off valve adapter. So now you heard it, a couple revs, factory blow-off valve installed, there's no psh, no whoosh, no nothing like that. We're gonna install this blow-off valve adapter from UPR, they come in black and silver, 7497 shipped in a lower 48. Let's go ahead and do the install. So the uh, tools involved in this installation are very unique, very difficult, uh, actually just uh, very simple. We've got two pieces, this is an E6 Torx socket right there and a five millimeter Allen key. We're gonna be removing the factory bolts, there's only three of them with the E6 Torx socket. Put this on here. This should be a, maybe a five to 10 minute install at most. I'm just gonna loosen them up by hand. There's only three of them. And then I could run them out with my fingers right after we get them loose to remove the factory valve from the charge pipe. We've got those loosened up. Let's twist these out by hand. So simple, the Mustang King can do it. Or the Bronco King. Whatever you guys want to call me. All right, there's two. And then the third one, just like that. All right, so here's your factory valve. We're going to install it in the same position with the connector facing the front of the vehicle. So I'm just going to set it on over here, let it sit for a minute while I grab the uh, UPR billet adapter. And this is going to install with this portion facing forward. There's two O-rings on it. Just make sure that they are installed on there uh, so you don't have any leaks or anything like that. We're going to put this up right here, match up the bolt pattern. I believe it only goes one way. There we go. And then we'll place the factory valve back onto the adapter. And using supplied stainless hardware from UPR, we'll start running those bolts through. So yeah, I'm just gonna move my hands out of the way for a little bit to show you. I just loosely put those uh, bolts in by hand. They're gonna catch the threads on the backside here. We'll tighten them up by hand and then I'll use the uh, Allen key to actually finish it up, make it nice and snug. Then we'll go ahead and finish them up. Now we did this on our 2.7 liter first edition Bronco. It's the same blow off valve adapter that works on the 2.3, the 2.7, and the 3 liter Bronco Raptor. Make them a little snug here, and I'll tighten them up with the uh, ratchet here in a second. Just make it nice and snug, maybe like one Ooga Dugga, no more than one Ooga Dugga. There we go. So. I'm gonna hop in the truck, fire it up. We'll do a couple revs here, let you hear how it sounds, and then we'll take it out on the road and let you hear how it sounds. It's actually pretty cool. With the Bronco Raptor that I have not noticed on our first edition Bronco with the 2.7 is that you do have the blow off sound mostly on acceleration when you let off of that throttle or during hard shifts. You don't necessarily really hear it during decel or downshifts, but with the Bronco Raptor and the 10 speed that you got it, when I put it in sport mode, it does that rev match uh, where it's a high RPM downshift and it matches that RPM, you actually do hear the blow off valve as well uh, sound when it happens. So it's pretty cool. I'll show you how it's done once you take it on the road.
I'm in a sport mode right now, which I love to drive around in. I like that higher RPM shifting and a little more aggressiveness to it, as well as the exhaust changes on it. But Jared, doesn't it hurt your gas mileage? I mean, I'm not really too concerned about it. <laughs> oh, Joe, you're funny, man. Joe's always, Joe, we got Joe along for the ride today. Your average Joe. All right, so I'm just gonna give a little throttle here and let off. Oh, yeah. There you go, you definitely hear it. It's, it's really noticeable. I mean, not overly from inside the cabin. I mean, I like it. It's, uh, it's not you know, overly noisy, annoying, anything like that. And you can cruise around just like this without really hearing it. It's really only when you get into the throttle good and let off the throttle. It's really there to protect, your blow off valve is there to protect your turbo from that boost pressure that's caught up in there when the throttle closes. So this valve uh, installs real easily lets that vent to atmosphere. You don't get any check engine light. The truck does not drive any different than it did from factory, so you really don't have to worry about anything. Pretty neat little mod. It's always one of our first mods on our EcoBoost vehicles. And it really doesn't do it until you let off the throttle. As you can hear, I got in there. Until you let off the throttle do you hear it so um, if you're worried about it on the highway making that sound all the time on a road trip it doesn't happen just when it's normally shifting it's really just when you're getting into it you're building boost pressure in that charge pipe and then it needs to go somewhere so instead of it recirculating it uh, vents the atmosphere let's see if we can get it to do it on the downshifts I'm not sure though it might have to be going faster but I definitely did hear it yesterday when I was driving it on southern on the way back out east let's just see if I'm all right so I'm in throttle now and I'll start to break. It's a little bit. Oh yeah. So yeah, with that rev match feature where it holds that RPM during the downshifts, uh, again that more aggressive sport mode, you will hear that uh, blow off uh, sound to it slightly, not as much as if you were in the throttle and letting out of it. But a great mod for all you Bronco Raptor guys out there. We have these in stock here at Lethal Performance. Feel free to reach out to us at 561-753-8105. Make sure to uh, like the, uh, the video, subscribe to our channel, and uh, comment on here if you guys have any questions. Really appreciate it. Mustang King, Bronco King, and I'm out.